So you've decided to start your podcast and now you're at the point where you need to get your artwork done. And maybe you're like me and you don't have a graphic design degree, but you just want to make something that's professional and pretty and looks nice. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to make very awesome artwork using a software called Canva so you can get your podcast up into the world. You gotta just press record. Hey, my name is Heather Torres and I'm part of Think Media. And on this channel, we do tech gear reviews, YouTube tips, and walkthrough tutorials just like this so you can get your video podcast up and out into the world. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And in today's video, I'm continuing the series where I'm helping you get your podcast up. There's so many opportunities when it comes to the ability to get your message out there. And while YouTube is amazing, we recommend that you also build out an audio and video podcast as well. And so in today's video, I'm going to help you if you're ready to design the artwork part of your podcast. Now, this video is in partnership with Buzzsprout, the company that we use for our podcast. And I love them so much because they help make podcasting easy. Now, if you're anything like me, time is very limited. You maybe are running your YouTube channel, running a business. And so you need something that is easy to use. And Buzzsprout allows you to be able to post your podcast and distribute it to all of the places that people can listen to it on. And so today I'm going to walk you through how to make your artwork. But first I have four quick tips for you when it comes to designing the artwork, what should be on it, and just a few little things to think about when getting started. Tip number one is you want to make sure that it's actually the correct dimensions. When it comes to making podcast art, what is not good to do is make something that won't fit into the box, right? When you go and press upload, you want to make sure that you're making the right dimensions. And so I've included them right down here and in the description box for you. You want to make sure that you're making that square dimensions, but that a size of the image actually matters. So link in the description below of how to find the right sizes for your podcast. And what's great is once you make that podcast art, it goes to like Apple and Spotify and other places that you can listen to podcasts. It's all the same artwork. So you don't need to make multiple different images. It's just one image to place, but you want to make sure it's the right dimensions. Tip number two is you want to actually choose your design carefully. The couple things that you would want to do first is I like to go and look at the competition. So in this example, I'm going to be making a piece of artwork for a podcast that I want to start called the homeschool house. I'm a homeschool mom and I've been asked to start this podcast over and over and over. And so we're going to get started with that piece of artwork, but you want to choose it carefully. So I would go over and I would look at what are the other parenting podcasts that are out there? What are the colors that they're using? How are they standing out? How many words are they using on their graphics? And so I would suggest that when you choose carefully, you want to see how can my piece of artwork, my cover stand out from the rest. Also think about, do you want to actually have your image on the actual artwork. It doesn't have to be on the artwork, but you want to be thinking, do I want this to be more graphic designed or do I want this to be more of a personalized uh, type of artwork? And I'm going to go through uh, later in this video of just showing you how I created my artwork. And I decided to use a photo because I want to build more of the personal brand rather than just the words on the graphic. So you want to think about that when you are designing your piece of artwork is how do you want it to look? Does it have your brand colors? Does it have the, the brand font that you have for your company or your YouTube channel? How is it going to look like it fits within the style that you're doing for your brand? All of these things come into consideration when you are making your podcast art. Tip number three is your words matter. How many words you have on your podcast cover art does matter. You want it to be readable and not just readable on a large desktop screen, but think about the phone image that someone's going to look at. It needs to be readable when someone's looking at their phone screen. So the type of font that you use, as well as the amount of words you have on it really matters. The smaller the font, the, the thinner the font, the harder it will be to read. So make sure it's bold. Make Make sure it's readable, make sure it's legible so people will click on your podcast. And number four, remember it can always change. If there's one thing I've learned when it comes to building an online brand is that as you grow, as you develop, as your brand grows, your brand develops, you're going to want different iterations of it. I mean, even think about a company like Coca-Cola. 
even though it stayed classic in what it is, it's grown and evolved over time. Your podcast artwork can do exactly the same. So we want to get started. We want to make something that's going to work right now, but always remember that when you decide to level up your brand later on, you can always level up your podcast artwork at the same time. All right, let's go ahead and get into how easy it is to make your podcast cover art with a software called Canva. Now I've already logged into my Buzzsprout account. And if you have questions about how to do that, or you're at the very beginning stages of starting your podcast, you can go back to previous videos in this series. I'll make sure they're linked down below so that you can see how easy it is to set up your free account on Buzzsprout. So I'm already logged in and let's go over there now. Now that I'm already logged in, you'll see that it just has this podcast right up at the top. You can click update artwork and it's going to bring you down here to the podcast artwork. And what is so cool about Buzzsprout is that it's already integrated with Canva. Now I'm logged into my Canva account, so I just need to click on that. It's going to open up Canva for me right here inside of Buzzsprout. Now, what's great about this is that they bring up that Canva has podcast artwork templates for you to choose. I love this so much because I'm not really a graphic designer and I love to just take inspiration and then switch it around to make it fit what I want to do. So let's scroll down here and see what are some of the options that I have when it comes to making a podcast. Now, if I wanted to just do a podcast that doesn't have my photo on it, I could do something like this where I could type in homeschool house, um, make it look like this. I can change the size of it. Keep changing, keep changing, changing the size. And I could make it super easy and download it just like that. But I do actually have an image of myself that I want to use for this. And so I'm going to scroll down until I find something that looks fun. This one looks fun. So I'm going to replace this current image. And obviously she is beautiful, but I'm going to switch her to me. So I'm going to take that off. I love that it already has these details around it. And this is a cool color. I could do this color. I've uploaded my image already here on our, on my, um, Canva account right here. So I'm going to upload that image. I'm going to go back to my templates and I'm going to move this image around so that it makes sense for what I'm using it for. So I had my arm kind of cut off. So I'm going to have it go up here a little bit. And then obviously I'm going to change this to, um, maybe 250 and we'll type in homeschool and probably a little bit more. This looks like it can go a little bit more. I want it to kind of fade behind my head, maybe three, 300. Let's see, I can expand it up a little bit more. And you just want to play around with it. I particularly love when um, there's some dimension to design. So I'm going to send this backwards. So see my head is over the image a little bit. It just kind of adds that design element to what I'm doing. Let's make it house homeschool house is the name of the podcast I want to do. And let's do the same thing. Let's kind of move it over. So it is kind of behind my head a little. So it adds that dimension. Let's see. Send backwards. Okay. How about, okay. So homeschool house, and I can make this a little bit bigger, move it over. And I probably want to move this down. So I'm just playing around with it just a little bit hosted by, and I can change my name and look how easy this is. And you can play around with all the different elements, but that is super easy. The homeschool house by Heather Torres. I mean, look at how professional that looks and I can get started with it just like that. And here's what's awesome. You don't have to download it, upload it and all those things. It can go directly to Buzzsprout. So it says send to Buzzsprout, preparing your design and voila, it goes right on there. So now when I press save my changes, save my podcast info, it's going to auto update. And there we go. The homeschool house now has a brand new image ready to go. Now that's just one of the cool features that Buzzsprout has and how simple and easy it is to create your podcast artwork. I want to see what your podcast looks like. So post your link down below. If you've already created your podcast, I want to see what your artwork looks like. And if you want to continue this series, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when new videos just like this happen.
Now, if you're just starting out on your podcast and you're trying to figure out what you should name it, make sure you check out the video right here that's popped up on the screen. And if you wanna check out the next video in this series, you can do that as well on this screen. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next tutorial. Bye.